you know, the GTU for me was such a wonderful surprise, I have to say. Um, I know it's probably rare for one to say this, but I really enjoyed every moment of my PhD program. I really did. At the GTU, I got a chance to be in classrooms with people who believed, uh, whose concepts of God, whose denominations, whose life experiences were very different than mine. And I remember going into my first classes. I started at um, at the American Baptist Seminary of the West in um, the MDiv program, and just being in class, and it's like, well, gosh, they don't believe the same thing I believe, or interpret the Bible the way I interpret it, or even interpret the Bible at all. They have a different, uh, they have a different book in, um, that that they they consider sacred. So. That was eye-opening for me and a little uh, daunting for me at first. But as I continued to go along and continue to dialogue with other people, I really appreciated that fact um, that I can have conversations with people who believe very differently than, than I do. And, we, and I can learn from them and they can learn from me. And it seems like in the world that's lost somehow and you know you're either in, in our world you're either fox or msnbc right so there's there's no in between um and so it's but it's somewhere in between is the ideas the thoughts the fact that we can actually grow if we listen to someone else's opinion um and i don't know if we we, we value that as much as we used to and so i i learned to do that at the gtu it's something I bring with me. Uh, I brought with me here uh, to Louisville Seminary, and something I continue to treasure. Uh, I will hopefully continue to, to do and practice in in the dean's office as well. So I think it's important um, to be able to have conversations with people, uh, even if they're, especially if they're they're different than than, than we are. I think part of it has been this practice of conversation really that's so embedded in the pedagogy of that entire program but it's also so enfleshed by the faculty members with whom i've had the privilege of studying um, from the moment i arrived at the gtu the first thing that i remember judith burling was asking is what is your question and then allow that question to lead you forward and then allow that to lead you to people with whom you can study. You know, once your questions are articulated, I feel that the professors have been more than willing to explore those questions with you. And I've never been in a context like that. It, it really felt like an entire program that encouraged a sense of intellectual agency. And it's something that, to this day, has informed even my own pedagogy in the classroom. When I came to the GTU, I was exposed to the scholastic aspects of theology studies. So my five years at the GTU have been instrumental in honing my pastoral skills and equipping them with a scholastic you know, dimension so that I can have the best of both worlds. The reason why the GTU was so transformative is that it did not hinder me from pursuing my scholarship. It didn't it, it, it didn't squelch my intellectual fervor. And in fact, not only did it not squelch it, but it encouraged it. It, it pushed me to develop my intellectual fervor, uh, particularly in Black liberation theology and Latin American liberation theology through James Cone and Juan Luis Segundo in Latin America. Um, they still are the two figures through which I filter theological assertions even today. Living in the Bay Area, uh, the seedbed of liberalism and uh, you know, being in an atmosphere where uh, you know, all religious faiths were embraced as expressions of the creator uh, was an experience for me that I, I, I cannot overstate. Um, I still love the Bay Area, I still love the GTU, and of course it was for the better years of my life. And so. Um, the foundation that it gave me actually gave me hope. You know, one of the beautiful things about my GTU education was the community. It was working with, living with 
protesting with, having parties with, people from all over the world, from all kinds of different faith traditions that really all cared about making the world better. It's been a fantastic experience. It's made me better as an individual, better in my pastoral skills. And of course, it's opened up a wide uh, range of uh, academic pursuits for me.